On this episode of the Basel Journal, our goats get a gift from Italy. Look, it's Fragili. And if you like our content, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and like this video. What he said. On the Bowser Ranch, we got another package, another box opening, more stuff to look at. As you know, we have three goats, and they have a pretty big area that they're in. But the problem is, we really need to rotate them because they've kind of eaten everything in that area. So we need to fence off portions of our property so we can rotate them, so that way they always have something really good. Because if a goat doesn't have a lot of good stuff to eat, they're gonna start looking for ways to escape. And we've already discovered that Noel, our baby goat, has somehow been getting out of the goat and been eating our pepper plants and our, and our grapes. Sneaky little devil. So we have uh, something here that might stop them. So let's take a look at this. In case you didn't get my joke at the beginning, the whole Fragili thing was a thing from the Christmas story. If you don't understand it, you're not a fan of Christmas story. So the first box is this one here. Let's open them up. And anytime I get a chance to play with my knife, yay, buddy. Look, stop. For safety reasons, your Energizer is shipped with the battery disconnected. Dun. <laughs> How'd you know that was Toyota? Look, more compost. More ways to grow dirt. That was my six million dollar man impersonation. So this is a solar charger. There's a battery inside of here. There's a solar panel on here. And then the solar panel obviously collects sunlight, converts it to energy. But what does it charge? Ah, that's in this box. So this is Premier One electric goat fencing. We're gonna use it in conjunction with our existing perimeter fencing to make large grazing areas for our goats. Logan's our OSHA inspector on site today. He can't even spell OSHA. Levi's not feeling very well. He Wait. has a tummy ache. So the kit that we bought from Premier One Fencing came with two bundles of fencing, four extra strong posts for like corners and turns, the battery, and the charger. This is my first time installing it, so we're going to see just how easy it is for the layperson to install this thing. Because I've watched lots of videos like Art and Bree and Justin Rhodes and Arms Family Homestead, and they make it look easy, but this is my first time. So let's see just how easy it is. So first thing we got to set is our corner post. We're going to put it next to our existing post. So according to the instructions, I'm supposed to untie this. You're supposed to prep the area that you're putting the fence up. You're not you're supposed to uh, mow the grass or, or, or they even said use a vehicle to tamper it down. You don't want it taller than four inches. If you take a look up our driveway, you can see we don't have any grass that's over four inches right now. Matter of fact, it's lucky if it's even a half an inch. That way you can easily do it. Other people make it look easy. Yeah, they do. Hmm? Let's turn this around. 
because it looks like it's feeding from this side. It's a good thing I got the grand boys to help me. So we're just going to lay it down on the ground. We're not going to stick it in right okay. now. Okay. Okay, so we're going to lay it down. So we'll lay it down. There you go. Now what do you do? Okay, so this is the first pose. We're going to go through and just stand up each pose in a straight line. Each one stepping on, pushing it in. Let me do it, guys. Once I do the first couple, then I'll let you do yours. Okay? And then we're going to use the string to tie to our extra stout uh, post. But this actually has a knuckle might actually tie to our post. On this post, and the other guy to be up. So as we go up, you guys move up as I move up. So that way, the, by the time I get to this, so I want you to hold whoever's doing this one. Go ahead and hold it up straight up, and you hold that one about halfway. Now keep in mind, we want to do a straight line towards the oh. telephone pole there. So make sure you pay attention, okay? So put one hand on the. Listen to me. Listen, don't be anxious. Put one hand on the post, put your foot on this little ledge right here, and then just push it down so that ledge goes in. Push, push, put your weight into it. There you go, good job. So listen to me. You put one hand on this. You're not pushing down on this hand. You're doing all the pushing with your foot. Put your foot on the ledge and then push it all the way down. Okay? Push! 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 You're okay, pushing on. on the pole. You're okay, bending on. the pole. Okay. You don't have enough weight. That's the, yeah. that's the point. Oh, quick! What's up with that? Mama bear? So we want the Is daddy doing it right? So the hardest part is figuring which pole that this comes into. But if you take a little bit of time and don't be impatient, you can figure it out. Just the key is patience. My wife's favorite word. I guess I won't be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's not feeling well today and decided to take a nap. Hit a root. Hit a root. Must have been. My foot. Did it stop dead in its tracks? Yes. We'll, we'll come to here. We'll come back only a little bit, and then we'll come back so there's enough of a tail that we can put the, the last rod right next to that post, like that, okay? Yeah. Does that make sense? They're already happy. Ha uh ha, -huh, you guys can't get to them now. Ha uh ha -huh. ha. We removed the solar panel. The negative terminal is not attached to the battery for shipping, so you have to attach that. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright. So then we gotta remove this. Those bolts out that we found. Are you? And that's so we can adjust so it they, to they have one. Exactly. So they have you move those bolts so they put these bolts in so that way when you're out in the field you don't need a wrench. All you gotta do is just take this, spin it, and then you can put it at whatever degree yeah. you want. So if the sun's low and the horizon you can you can have it facing upright or whatever particular model it has uh, this ground spike that, that you put in the ground and you attach your ground to this the 120 version you actually have to attach a separate ground rod um, the, the instructions say to, to push it into the ground first 
but you do have to attach the ground rod. Sasha, so you're in the way. Mama, move, honey. Move, money. Move, mama. Get my ground rod. Bring my ground plug. Attaches to this. This just slides on. So we got two pieces of fencing. We got to attach okay. them together. We're going to attach our positive lead to that. And nobody touched the fence. <laughs> Is there an on-off button? Yeah. Have you got it on? I don't know. I just tried pushing the button. I didn't see any lengths. Pushed in is on, pushed out is off. So it says? Mm -hmm. Your head's on the wire. It's only 3,000 volts, baby. Is that not a lot? It's not the volts that kills you, it's the amperage. On the instructions, it tells you if you live in the northern half of the U.S. or the southern half of America, what angles to put it at during different times of the year. Different times of the year, the sun stays lower on the horizon or higher on the horizon. So for right now, it told us for the southern part of the U.S. to be at that angle. So we'll put it at that angle. It is live. How much are we getting? 4,000. Is that what we're supposed to have for goats? Yeah. Because this is part of the story. The fence is not getting charged, so right now what I'm doing is I'm taking the wires off and stripping back more to make sure it has a good connection. Okay. All right. Thank you for all your help. Well, I got good news and I got bad news. We hooked our fence in and we just couldn't seem to get it to work right. I could touch it and I'm not getting shocked. Everything's plugged in, turned on right. I use my tester and I'm getting 4,000 volts across it. So I should be getting shocked. So I called Premier One and asked some, some, you know, for technical support. I talked to a very nice lady, can't remember what her name was. And she said, there's two things going on. Number one, I'm wearing tennis shoes, which is insulating me from the ground. And number two, it's, this is Florida and it's sandy soil. We should have bought the positive negative fencing, not the standard fencing. Since we bought the fencing online, we didn't know that there wasn't any technical support. Had we called them or maybe emailed them, maybe they would have recommended the right fence. So now what we're forced with is see if we can ship back the netting and exchange it for the positive negative fencing. So for now, the goats don't get to roam around out here in this pasture. So it'll probably be another few days until that happens. So when we get that, when we get the new one in, put that in, we'll make another video for that. Just goes to show you, not everything goes as planned when you do stuff. So you just learn and move on. Until then, live your own story.